Now, I could not be more excited that our next guest is here on the show. He is an incredible singer-songwriter whose stunning self-titled album is Grammy-nominated for Best Rock Album. Please welcome the incredible Michael Kiwanuka to the show. <laughs> Michael, I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so happy oh, you're here. You. Uh, it's so lovely to see you. You know what a fan I am of yours. I, I've, I've been a fan since the, the, the very first album. Um, how are you? Where are you in the world right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, thanks. Thanks for having me, man. I'm in the, I'm in the UK. I'm at home and getting through, getting through lockdown or trying to get through lockdown. And you picked me up by um, for letting us hang out. Oh, man, I cannot tell you how much this album means to me. This album, Kiwanuka, this is your, your latest album. It won the Mercury Music Prize at home. It's nominated for your first Grammy. It's been called one of the greatest albums of the decade in countless reviews. How does it feel for you to be getting this sort of recognition right now? Yeah, oh man, it feels incredible, man. I mean, yeah, like we met maybe nearly 10 years ago, it's coming up to yeah, you. Yeah, 2012. 2012, man. And so it's always been a dream to be a musician, to be a singer, to be an artist, and to be awarded the Mercury, to be nominated for a Grammy. I mean, these are the things you dream about growing up. So it means, it's, it's hard to put into words, but it means the world, you know? It's, it just, um, I feel so blessed, you know? I feel so, feel so lucky. What I love about this album is in, in a world of streaming and shuffles and singles, that this is an album which is really at its greatest when it's listened to straight through from beginning to end. Each track almost kind of bleeds into the, the next. Why was that important for you? Why did you choose to make a, a, a record that, that very much has a beginning, a middle and an end? Yeah. Well, it was important for me at the time of making this record, it was obviously before lockdown and, 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 and us having more time on our hands or some of us having more time on our hands. And, um, I just knew, one, how much I love music, but I just thought music or any type of art allows us to just take stock. It can take us out of our own mind and our own world and our own headspace just for a little bit to be able to come back and feel brighter or feel like we can tackle whatever we need to tackle in the day. It's kind of like a therapy and it's, it's good for you. So I thought I wanted to make a record that could just slow someone down so there was no chance of once you put the needle down, if you listen to it on vinyl or you press play on Spotify or whatever it is or streaming, you just forget that the, the track hasn't finished. You just stay into that world that I'm trying to create and maybe it might be, you know, help you slow down, not get so caught up with the speed of life, you know? And, and um, music's so important, so strong, I just feel like um, we could all do with some music, <laughs> not just mine. Now, I want to talk to you about the performance that you've, you've filmed for us tonight. You, you shot this at your secondary school, uh, which I yeah. think is in North London, right? In, in, in yeah. Muswell Hill. What was it like going back to, to school to shoot this performance? Yeah, it was, um, it was cool. It was amazing, actually. So in school, I had, that's kind of where, I was lucky because I had a good, I had a good time at school. You know, school can be tough for some people um, as well, because, you know, school can be rough. But for me, because I found music in school, I loved it. And then it was where I discovered I wanted to, to be a musician and to be a singer. And, and all of those things started bubbling. You know, I had a band, I started a band in school. And my first performance was in that same hall where I'm performing. So, really? Um, I to go back, yeah. So the first time that you ever performed is in the very room that you have sent your performance in for tonight? Yeah, exactly. I played, um, played my acoustic and I played a cover of... Eric Clapton, Tears in Heaven, and I was terrified because um, I'd never sang in public. But it went well, and then some of my school friends and people... My school was quite big, so there's people I never even spoke to in my year that were like, oh, yeah, I heard you do that song, it was all right. So I thought at that point, I was like, I want to continue this, you know. So I've got some good memories, memories from in there. Well, thank God you picked up a guitar <laughs> because the world is a better place for your music and this album and the song that you're playing tonight are absolutely brilliant. When we come back, Michael Kiwanuka is performing on this show. You don't want to miss it. Come on back, everybody.